Oh, we need the clapper, Josh. Welcome to another episode. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. They gave me that with the <laughs> lens or whatever. So today we're finishing up, well, <clears throat> Josh is finishing up these jack-in-the-boxes that we have. We have about a million of these. Close Pretty close. He's gonna be finishing them so that we can ship them out. Now we're at the stage in the game where we have all of these puzzle boxes ready to be finished up. So I'm just gonna take a minute here and I'm gonna tell Josh how we finish things around here because Josh has never done any of the finishing. Josh had the idea that we could just uh, show you guys so that if any of you guys are coming to work for me, then you guys would already know how to do this step. So that's a good idea. Ahead. What we do, Josh, is we take this and we make sure that we don't have any fingerprints on it. So we put on these gloves. And then we lay out some nice paper towels. Would it be a better idea Go ahead. to put the camera on what we're doing? So anyway, yeah, we'll roll out some paper towels. And the important thing is that the finish doesn't get contaminated after you put it on. So this is the finish, 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 finish? This is the finish we're using. It's a gel finish. So you just wipe it on, but then you want to wipe it right back off because it'll get sticky and it'll build up ridges. You want it to have a nice even soak into the materials. We also have a toothbrush in case you want to brush your teeth. Obviously there's moving parts in this puzzle box so I like to take it all apart and then finish it like that but if you find a better way of doing it that's okay because the end the end of it is we want every surface on the outside finished but we don't want the sliding parts inside with the gel finish on them because that you know we have to scrape it off later. So, so then why do you take it apart? I never thought of that. <laughs> what we could do is we could actually finish it and then take it, then buff it off, you know, dry it off. Because you, you dry it off with a towel so that it's just kind of still wet looking, not bone dry, you know, you're not just like... But then what you could do is you could take it apart immediately with like a different set of gloves so that it doesn't get sticky again. But then it would be apart and it could dry separately. Okay, I have to buy more gel. I don't remember it being this messy. So yeah, so you just make sure that every surface is gelled. Now we move on to the buff. So now you just want to make sure that you don't leave any gel on the puzzle. That would be a horrible mistake. So you see how nice that looks. Doesn't that look so nice? Very nice. You getting that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, now we should be pretty good. Now we need a nice clean towel to set this on. Like so. How's that going? So how, how's your experience with uh, puzzle box finishing now, Josh? Um, it's pretty fun. Not the most difficult thing I've ever done, that's for sure. That was a very confident Josh game. So Josh has only got three of these left to go. Uh, but anyways, I have these ready to go out to the old postal service people. So those are all set. So now I'm gonna take a minute and I'm gonna sand up what's remaining here for us to get to the high polish, high grit. And Josh is going to be gluing up the other parts. Right now he's putting in 
all the open jack-in-the-boxes in a bag so that we don't get any sanding dust on those to contaminate them. Okay, so I got these uh, boxes sanded up to perfection. Um, the only thing I don't like is this belt is starting to fill up and maybe I need to get one of those erasers. Um, that might help. I just don't quite like this finish super. If you hold it up to the light, you can see certain parts that are a little more uh, satin, would you, if you would, than others. But uh, I mean, it's passable, and I don't think you'll be able to tell after the finish goes on, but I would still like to get um, some new 400 grit belts. Uh, that would help. This is the silicon. So anyways, those are going good. I've got three more to go, but it is lunchtime. You hear that sound? That's the sound of it sealing. Incredible. That is, compared to where it was stuck out there. He was working on that for two hours to get yeah, that. Well, it's right now. Okay, it's not supposed Wait to Wait a minute, it doesn't hole. even go I all know, the way. hold on. thing has a hole in it the size of the <laughs> we got the, We got these sanded. Uh, listen, you just, you just if you haven't perfect. seen a better box than that, then perfect. you haven't seen them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 wait. Square. Square. Uh -huh. Square. Basically, don't get too close now. Okay, I thought it would, I thought. This one has so, two entrances. Oh, that's the way it goes, okay. Yes. Now I was confused. We're ready to build the last 25 puzzle boxes. Yeah. That was actually kind of cool. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. Compare this to this. Well, Just it's not. Take our word for it. It's not very good. <laughs> well, it's, no, see, Josh, it's like this. It's not that this one's worse. It's that this one's yeah, no, it's better. True. You can have that one if you want. Don't you want it? 